subscribe. Hello, YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to get map buttons for the PC. Um, it's basically just um, the buttons up in the left hand corner, you know, like the red, yellow, and green, or whatever colors they are. And it's that same place, almost exactly like it. And um, one cool feature I figured out recently <coughs> is that the window, like once you activate it, it has some of the same Windows 7 features. Like if you click on the top of it and drag it up to the top, it maximizes it. But then if you click on it and drag it down slightly, it minimizes it. Pull over to one side, it puts it on half the screen. Pull over to one side, it puts it on the other half of the screen. So you can compare them side by side, just like Windows 7. Um, it's very cool. But I'm going to show you how to get it and show you some cool stuff with it. So first, you need to go to your um, internet browser. All right, now once on your um, once you're on your internet browser, you need to go to Google and you need to um, type in true transparency and click on the first one up. There's actually two words. And then go to this first one right here. And then you click on download. And once it may take a little bit to download, it didn't take that long for me. Once you've downloaded it, it's gonna be in a zip folder. You need to extract it um, to your desktop. So just basically drag the file to your desktop and it will copy it all there. It may take a minute or two depending on uh, depending on how fast your computer um, is. So once you get that done, um, there's a there be the there will be the application you can run. Looks like that right there, the um, icon for it. And uh, once you do it, it comes up with some default um, default skins for the top up here. What I mean is like it's gonna be the symbols are gonna be right here. And but like one thing is if you say you have like Windows Vista Home Basic, um, there's no area on your Home Basic sort of. Well, there sort of is, but not like the actual area. So it will come with some areas on there. Um, and you can have area on there, and you can just keep it like that if you want to. But you can also, um, buy, uh, well, download an extra skin for it, which will give you the Mac button, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. But um, once you get to it, uh, once you extract it and um, uh, put it on there and everything and activate it, it will come up down here. And if you right click on it, you can um, it go up to skins and look at all the different skins. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. But once you download and everything, um, so you're going to get it to your desktop like this, and I've extracted it and everything. Um, and see the icon looks exactly like this. This is the application. Um, and if you just click on that, it'll come up down here, and it will change this part up here. So, um, go ahead and exit out of this. And so, I'm sorry, I'm sort of rambling on. Um, once you have that downloaded, go back to Google. Alright, and now you need to type in true. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my bad. True transparency. Uh, Mac skin. Right here. And you need to scroll down to the. Alright, here it is. It's the Deviant Art one. It should be the second or third one. It's called I Unlimited, I Unlimited Four, I think. Yeah, True Transparency by So and So on Deviant Art. So you click on this <coughs> and you download it. And I can't remember if it's zipped or whatever, but um, if it is zipped, you need to unzip it and then open up the two windows side by side. I'm gonna find this real fast. One second. All right. Um, I found. And this is what it looks like once you download this right here. And it will show you a little preview right here of what it looks like. Um, shows you some of the stuff you can do. Anyways, once you have this downloaded, you need to bring up that window and... Let me find it. This window. Put them side by side. Like so. Alright. So you need to double click on this. And you see these two right here, it says I limited and then I limited no icon. You need to click on both of these and drag them both into the skin folder. And it won't work if you haven't unzipped it. So this right here needs to be unzipped. So it will not work. So once you put them in here, it may take a minute or two to um, copy them in there. And then you can run your true transparency, which I will do real fast because I've already done all this. Um... Second, all right, run, 
and yours may come up with that. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Right here, it looks exactly like the Mac buttons, alright? See? Comes up exactly like this. Um, okay, the only thing is, on a few windows, it will come up like this, where you can see through this little part right here. You see this right here? Um, only on a few windows. It won't do that on some um, web browsers. It doesn't mostly do that. It just depends on what kind of window it is. Um, and I think on one or two applications, it will come up like normal. Because I, once I opened up iTunes, and it came up with the regular uh, windows, Vista buttons, um, like close, minimize, and everything. And um, it only did that once. I don't know if it'll do it again. It may not do it for you. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And see, I can minimize it. Or um, go back over, maximize it, or close it. All right. It's going to open back up or um, show you a little bit more. All right. And now I was talking about the Windows 7 features. All right, so if, if it's maximized, you drag it down and minimize it, just like on Windows 7. And if you drag it up, it will maximize it. So I'm going to drag it back down. And sorry, my computer is laggy, because once again, I'm running the hypercam. Um, so like Windows 7, if you drag it to one side, it takes up half the screen. I'm going to drag it over here. You can see a little bubble on the side where it does that. And it takes up half the screen. Um, let me minimize this for a second. Alright, I'm going to go over to uh, where I just downloaded. I'm going to drag this over to half the screen. Alright. And I'm going to drag this over to half the screen. Alright, see, like, I drag this over here, just like I normally have it. If I have it, like, slightly minimized, drag over here. comes up exactly like on Windows 7. And see, like, right here, it doesn't show the little parts right here. Because it only does it on some of them. Um, and that's basically it. Um features. Oh, and when you first put this, when you first put the skins on here, it will not show it. Not, like, it won't come up as the skins. It'll come up as another one. And to, um, to get window, we'll forget that, to get that to come up, you need to find it down here on True Transparency. Right click and go to skins. And you need to go to I limited no icon. And that, um, that should bring it up. And if you need any help, just send me a message. Um, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.